Hey ladies and gents, we are back with some more of Vorian, and yeah, I'm doing a lot of videos because this has become a lot more people are interested in it lately. So, uh, we're going to do some more videos. Uh, we are going to set up a simple supply chain, or a simple factory chain in here, in the game. So we all know with um, Asteroids, uh, they produce the base materials. Those base materials are used in other factories to produce products, which are used in other factories to produce more products. And those products are using more factories to produce more products until you eventually get to the high-end stuff like war bots, mining, ro mining, uh, mining bots, um, body armor. Those are the big sellers. You know, those are 100 million, 130 million factories, uh, million credit factories. They produce the high-end stuff. To get to that point, though, you have to start small, and that's what we're going to cover here. So, um, right now, we started out with. I'm using. I'm going to build a steel factory. It's one of the simplest factory chains to build because uh, you only need two things you need coal and you need scrap metal um, and they have to be delivered to the steel factory and then the steel factory produces we'll actually jump over to the steel factory and I'll show you what I'm talking about um, for us to get steel uh, so you need coal scrap metal and that produces steel right uh, so all I need is a coal mine and a scrap metal um, factory uh, to produce the to produce steel. And steel use is used in everything in the game, so this is not a bad factory to build one of your first supply chains. And it's super easy, like I said, just two, uh, one mine and one factory to be able to produce raw steel. Then you can take steel and you make uh, metal plate, which is also important in the game. Uh, but yeah, this is one of the easiest factory chains to build so let's get started here this is like I said I've already pre up some of this stuff um, because it's just easier otherwise you'd be sitting here with for like 55 minutes watching me for an hour so we're gonna jump back over here so I've already built a scrap metal factory ready to be used uh, there's of course my shipyard this is one of the sectors I started out with got my usual setup here silver power plant one um, uh, defense asteroid and of course one one warship here I'll, I brought another warship just in case uh, but yeah we're gonna do that so there is actually two asteroids in this field in this um, field uh, two usable mineable asteroids and that's what we're gonna do here so I've pulled them out of the uh, out of the asteroid field using uh, I haven't showed you this guy yet this is uh, a tug um, and I'll show you that guy in a little bit here. You don't have to pull them out. Uh, I like to pull them out uh, just to make it easier um, to do this. So, you know, it's a the shorter the distance the cargo uh, bots have to fly, uh, the quicker things are produced. So let's get Mr. Scrapyard here. There's about 10 kilometers. I always use 10 kilometers. I think it's like five, the minimum that these factories and uh, Mines can be to each other. However, I just usually use 10. So we're at 5 We're at 12 uh, Let's go out a little bit We're gonna make a rough triangle here of There's 11 And you don't have to be, you know, like this. I just tend to put things in triangles and squares. Um, I'm not even an OCD kind of person either. Not obsessive compulsive at all. You can ask my wife. Uh, so we got a few more here to go. But once we get the once we get the initial, um, you know, this is what I was talking about with the factory, but putting a shipyard in here to build these supply chains to a certain degree. And, uh, there we go. Now we're at ten. And yeah, there we go. Now we're about ten, so we're all within ten kilometers, roughly, of each other. So we're going to found a uh, scrapyard. So, like I said, we were talking about earlier with all of the um, f the fair amount of factories, right? Um, so you have to produce you know, the mines have to produce materials, and then the materials are tend to other factories produce those products 
Uh, and some of these supply chains will be, um, or some of these, not supply chains, factory chains could be, you know, 10, 12 factories to get what, to get the final product. Uh, so this is one of, like I said, one of the easiest chains to produce here. So uh, steel factory, solar, uh, where is our scrap iron? Um, God, I wouldn't think it'd be, uh, that's a low tech, basic factories, ah, there we go, scrap metal trader. So we're going to transform into a scrap metal trader. Yep, there he goes. So let's put turn him back into another asteroid. Uh, something simple. We've got all these designs of different stuff. There we go. And we'll use this design on here. So, oh, that's way too big. However, you do want to make sure you have enough cargo space on here. So I only have 29,039 cargo space. I typically put 25,000 on every station that I build. Uh, that's uh, that's the typical max that you can have for a station um, for actual uh, amount of, uh, of factories or in general uh, on your ships here. So... The cargo bay there, put up to 27.55. Perfect. I'm gonna hire some crew out here to fill this in. There we go. Now she's all hired out. And we're gonna go. So now we got the scrap metal, right? So we're gonna go up here to the trade. And this is kind of the the whole thing about the management of your stations. What do you want it to do, right? So like the scrap metal and the coal the coal mine. I don't want to sell those products because I want those products to go to the steel factory. So I'm not going to buy goods from others, and I'm not going to, or I'm not going to sell goods to others, or um, you know, I'm not going to do any of this stuff. I want this stuff to go all to my metal factory, right? So that's why I took off all of this stuff here: buy goods from others, sell goods. I don't want to sell to anybody or buy anything, all I want is this stuff to go directly through there. So we're going to upgrade the actual manufacturing, pro um, the complete upgrade. This is going to increase the amount or how fast uh, we produce scrap metal. So we got that running, scrap metal's up. Um, we got our steel factory up here, so now we need to make a coal mine. And let's jump into uh, my tug, the, the big mother trucker. Uh, this is a tug. Uh, it's got a set of um, lasers, or a, a set of uh, force generators on the back, right? So if I latch onto a station, uh, I can tug it. Um, this thing will get up most asteroids up to about 100 meters a second. Um, you've seen the roid dozer, which is a pusher. Uh, this, of course, is just a, um, kind of looks like a truck. That's why it's big mother trucker, right? So we've got steel factory we've got scrap metal factory now we need the coal uh, he's here somewhere right there's there's the uh, so we need to turn this guy here into a coal factory there we go yep or a coal mine is what we need to turn him into so we're gonna roll on over here and we're gonna turn him into a coal And uh, this is probably one of the first um, factory chains you're going to build because, like I said, it's super simple. So we're right up next to him. We're going to interact with him. We're going to claim it. And now we're going to, of course, uh, found a mine. Uh, and there's our coal mine right there. Six million. Not really that expensive. Um, but, yeah, so we're going to transfer him into a coal mine. There we go. Uh... All right, so he's into a coal mine here. So let's jump into him. And he is, should be already producing some coal, I think. No, nope, he has no cargo bay yet. So let's get out to our save designs. I already have some pre-made um, designs for this. There we go. Real simple looking. Yeah, yeah we can use that one. Alright, so we have 25,000 cargo space already on it. 
um, and we have yeah so everything's ready to go on this one except for I need um, to hire some crew here and of course We don't need that many. We only need a couple of these guys. And of course, I do need something. I need something other than a, a sar uh, not a sergeant, lieutenant. The thing I brought my. Oh, where did you go? There we go. Uh, we brought uh, Olympic here to make sure I could crew these out. There's our shipyard. Alright, so here we go. So we've got our first old, we got the three mines and factories we need to do pr to produce steel or for this, um, this, uh, steel factory to work here. So we're going to cruise on over here and we are going to make sure this guy's fully crewed. But yeah, this is the basics of a setting up a factory chain. And it's the easiest to do to kind of learn how to do this uh, is to do it on these, this, this simple, very simple factory chain. All right, so we're going to interact with this guy. I'm going to transfer that one crew member over. There we go. And we should be good. And I usually put, if I got captains, I always put a captain on everything just in case. 17 captains on board so we've gained one captain and we've got let's jump into him and we'll put one on that one over there as soon as I get in the right ship right all right so let's put a oops did I didn't I didn't finish this one yet either let's do that quick before I leave so the trade goods here we're gonna turn everything off because I don't want to trade anything and I don't want to buy anything. I just want to be able to use the material here at the steel factory, right? So we got him turned off here. So now this is uh, producing eight coal um, at max capacity here. So we're going to run over here to the uh, metal trader here. We're going to make sure he's captain. I always, like I said, I always do that. I always make sure there's a captain on every one of these stations just in case uh, I decide to put well, that's actually what I'm gonna have to do here uh, we're gonna talk about that shortly here so um, F interact let's transfer one one captain there there we go so now we're now everybody's fully upgraded producing exactly what they're supposed to do so they'll fill up here shortly however we need um, stuff over here at the steel factory so how do we get materials from the scrap metal to the or the scrap metal and the coal mine and we get it over here to our steel factory well this is where the whole cargo shuttle comes in I had a question about this do you do it manually no I used I use cargo shuttle or cargo shuttles and what it's going to of course require here is to add um, bays to these uh, factories and mines so it has a place for the um, a place for the oops a place for the cargo shuttles now my ship here is loaded with them I picked them up already um, I'm sorry here we go so these are ones I built myself they were 90,000 credits a piece or I bought these um, cargo shuttles for like 75 at a uh, equipment depot. Um, a lot of times you can just pick these ones up real cheap and they'll work out just fine. There's one right there. Uh, yeah, that wasn't even the hot, that was like, that was like 30,000 credits, right? Uh, they don't have to be anything spectacular because they only haul one unit at a time, right? So the really difference here is the speed, that's 162, that's 531. Um, you know, so that, that's the real big difference is if you wanna make sure this is going faster. But if you're not sitting in here watching it, I guess you know there's a 435 uh, speed wise it's not that big a deal here so what we're gonna do is now we've got these guys up and running right this is our factory chain now uh, instead of manually doing it with a cargo ship going from 
each the the, the um, fat the uh, scrap metal and the coal mine to the steel factory we're gonna of course use the cargo shuttles here so we're gonna jump into this fella and we're gonna add a uh, quick Zanian hanger here to the side uh, There we go. And of course, I gotta hire more crew for that. Um, I already got pilots, so we'll add a couple more crews. So I think we already got enough. So that's got a that's got a hanger on the side of it. And we're gonna go to this guy over here. And we're gonna add a hanger for him. Off the side. Real simple. These are not hard to do. You just have to. It just it requires a little bit of time and patience to run these. So there's a hanger out that side. They're not beautiful stations. Don't worry about it if they are. This is once again just a quick tutorial on how to do that. So we need to add a one to him. Now this is something I uh, kind of cut and pasted together. It's kind of different here. So let's add our cargo or another. Uh, hanger here for this guy. Um, so as long as, of course, like I said, it's white both ways, it'll accept whatever here. So higher crew. Apparently, we need more crew. I suppose added a little bit extra. So there we go. All right. So everything's got a hanger bay on it. Um, so now we're going to uh, equip. Those two guys over there. See, this is my end end factory. Um, later on, if I when I put a metal plate factory here, I want to take the steel from the metal plate to the metal fact uh, the, the metal plate. So I'll have cargo shuttles on this eventually. However, since I'm just starting here, I'm going to put all my cargo shuttles on these guys. So metal trader. Um, we're going to switch. Come on. This is one thing I don't like. There we go. <sighs> it's got to be difficult. Alright, so we're docked. Should be. Alright, so we're going to transfer... We're going to transfer, ha transfer half of my... Um, uh, crap. Of course. I'm going to put a a little bit we got to put some squads up here one two three four so there we go squatted out here let's transfer those cargo shuttles to that there we go transfer and this is what sucks either transfer all or you have to do it individually like this which kind of sucks because it takes time to move the whole freaking thing over here. I don't know why there's just not a button here where we can flap. We can uh, do it over here. So we don't. I'm not going to put all of the cargo shuttles on one. Eventually, I'll fill out both of these stations with complete uh, cargo shuttles. Um, but right now, like I said, just I just grabbed these quick uh, to make the video here, so you guys can see how to do. Like I said, a, a, a simple um, factory chain. All right, come on. It'll be easier next time. The next one I'll just do transfer all. And we're good. Let's go this way. Come on. I don't know unless there's a different way to do this. Unless somebody knows how to do this different. I've never found a way to... Unless... No. I can't even... No. I don't really know how to transfer this different other than doing a transfer all. Which I'm not going to do. Because like I said, i got to move all of them again. So we're just going to fill up half the cargo, or half the, um, alright, so now this station here is equipped with cargo shuttles. So we're going to, we're going to switch the other side, oh wait, 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 don't forget the, um, yep, you gotta, you gotta make sure, and there's pirates, let's see here, how the stations are going to hold up, um, should be relatively easy here. We'll just put we'll stick Durandal on them too. I think I got um, yeah, I do have. 
And there goes my... Ah, she never did that. He's loaded with uh, torpedoes, so he's just going to spam everything at him here. Uh, let's see here. Let's finish this out. Let's finish these guys off quick here so I don't have to uh, worry about it. Yeah, he's, they're going to kill him here. So let's jump back into here, what we're doing. Let's uh, get a little closer here. Now we're docked. And we're going to transfer crew-wise. we got to transfer... Um, some pilots that way. So I have 267. What did I put over there? One, two, three, four, five, sixty. So we're gonna transfer sixty pilots to the other side because they're gonna need pilots over here to run those cargo shuttles. Right? So how are we sitting here? I didn't screw up anything, did I? Nope. Everything's fully crewed and everybody's happy. So, cargo shuttles are loaded that one, and we'll go do it here to the mine. We'll load that with cargo shuttles and pilots, and then of course we're going to turn that on, activate them, um, and have them start hauling their material to that station. Alright. Watch out, big mother trucker. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. And, it, you know, like I said, the easy, this is one of the easiest factory changes to do right off the bat, and everything uses steel. Uh, you're going to use it for tons of stuff here. Alright, so I should be able to dock now. Yep. Um, transfer. And, you know, this is one of the part of the games that just, like, you know, ugh, it takes a long time. But it's, yeah, it's relatively satisfying, maybe. Alright, so let's, let's transfer 60 over here. I don't have 60, but I guess it's not really needed. Um, and everything should be good here. Really? More baddies? I think, I think they're gone. All the baddies are gone. Nope, headhunters. Because I need more headhunters in my life. Um, so now that's once I destroy these two dickheads. Um, I'm already in the hazard zone. They need to change the hazard zone. We're going to have a video on the hazard zone because it's really kind of fucking this game. Um, the constant, uh, you know, all of a sudden, well, that's just not going to, you know. All right, so coal mines are staffed with cargo shuttles. The scrap metal is staffed, and now we're going to have to do the actual um, changes here. And that's what the trade goods are here. So, deliver goods to stations or fetch goods from stations. So, what we're going to do is, yep, there it is. Um, we don't actually don't need to do two of them, I guess. So, that should... You should see... A string of... It usually takes just a little bit here. I mean, honestly, like I said, it takes just a little bit for... Um, the cargo shuttles to erupt. We'll jump into him so we can watch. Unless I forgot something. Jesus, they uh, apparently really want to mess with me today. This is interesting. So I have enough coal and crew and systems, and I have enough pilots. Uh, sometimes there's some weird stuff you have to you have to make sure everything's up and running, working right. So let's do this. Um. So it should be delivering. So I need to turn that on. And I 
let's jump over to that one. Let's start that one up. Holy buckets, he's spamming a lot of stuff. Alright, so... Yeah, let's turn him on. He needs to deliver. And then we need to turn all of them on. Alright, so the steel... So that should... One possibility. I don't think that's a possible. Whoops. Yeah, so the hangar is good to go. going to be something really stupid. Alright, so that is, should be good to go here. Let's look at this guy. Is there something we need to change here? Maybe we need to do that. Hmm. Ah, there we go. That's what it was. Yep, there they go. So uh, they had to actively be able to do that. So there goes my shuttles. And they are taking coal to that station. And there's the shuttles from the scrap metal. And they are taking the... So now you learned a lesson, right? Um, they're taking the scrap metal to the steel station. So if we jumped over there, and we should be able to see, yep, gain one coal, gain two. Yep, so we're starting to produce... Um, we're going to start producing steel here, slowly. Yep, gain six steel. So, there we go. Simple, easy, quick, no, not quick. <laughs> so you learn from my mistakes, which you have to uh, um, be able to turn on and off the stations. That's sometimes the problem with these, you have to, sometimes it has to be on or off for it to work. But there you go, so now you can see the return flight of cargo shuttles going back to get more. And it'll just go back and forth like this, and this thing will continue to um, produce steel. And I think, like I said, I got this set at 5%, so it's going to actively try to sell these, uh, my steel. If it doesn't, I'll use the steel somewhere else. So, very simple, quick, um, little supply chain, or uh, not, I keep saying supply chain, factory chain. Uh, this is how it works, right? Um, you know, and here I'm just using the cargo shuttles to shuttle it back. Now, a little bit later, I might add a metal uh, a metal plate factory here, and then from the metal plate factory, I'll move. I'll take the steel from the metal steel to the metal metal plate factory, and I do believe it uses energy cells, which I can get from um, my solar power plant. Right. So there's a multiple things going on here, and that's what you're looking at when you're building these sectors. What do you intend on building there, and what? You know what your what your initial uh, mines are, and uh, what you're gonna you know you want to make sure there's a much possible crossover in materials uh, when you build your factories per station. Otherwise, you're gonna end up having to actually manually move stuff, or you're gonna actually have to buy it from you're gonna have to buy it from the other factions, one or the other. So you know think about when you're building these factory chains, what's gonna be needed to produce uh, in that factory. So with that said, guys. Um, thanks for watching again, and we'll have another video probably tonight.